What's up, YouTube? Joseph All Trades here, and today we are talking about Westworld Episode 4 Dissonance Theory. Now, it seems like I've heard of cognitive dissonance theory before. I believe in a marketing class when we were talking about buyer's remorse. Cognitive dissonance is the feeling of discomfort that you get when your observation or your experience does not align with your belief system or your model of how the world works. And part of the reason why tonight's episode was so amazing is because we got that from a lot of the different characters in the show. We'll kick it off by talking about Dolores. She is one of the first characters to express these type of feelings. Uh, she was saying that she had been living day to day and doing things over and over without thinking about the end result or what the consequence of her actions would be. She said that when working with her father, every day she'd go out and get the herd and bring them in, not even realizing that she was bringing them into the slaughter. But now that she's starting to remember things and question the meaning of her existence and of the entire world that she's in, she's having to decide what she's going to do next and make some meaningful action. The first part of this came with her choice to decide to stay with William. I believe it was the sheriff came up to her and asked if she needed to go back to town, if she was lost, and William said, no, she's with me, and she made the choice that she wanted to stay with William and progress along that storyline. But even towards the end of the episode, Dolores is still getting some cognitive dissonance in the moment when Ben kills the lawman that they're with, uh, William and Ben start talking about their vacation and what they're doing next in Westworld and the Steps, but Dolores is still legitimately afraid because she doesn't understand what's going on and what she's seeing played out in front of her. These things are still murder and they're still very real because she doesn't understand and she doesn't grasp what she's actually in. To help give her some meaning though, Bernard has told her about the maze and he lets Dolores know that if she makes it to the center, uh, she'll get freedom and she'll find what she's looking for there. And one of the things I didn't really pick up on earlier that I saw very clearly in this episode is that when Bernard and the Westworld staff interacts with the host, the hosts are always naked and they're objectified and they're completely open. But in their little one-on-ones between Dolores and Bernard, she is fully clothed. So I think Bernard has some sort of feelings that he needs to dignify these things, even though they may be inanimate objects. Changing lanes. Episode 3 did not tell us a lot about the man in black, and he got a lot of face time in this episode. I've been on the fence about deciding whether to buy into this fan theory that the man in black is actually Arnold and that Arnold is not really dead, but I think we have enough information in this episode to rule that out. As the audience though, we did get some cognitive dissonance ourselves in the scene set around the campfire when another one of the guests approaches the man in black and he says something like, Thank you, your foundation saved my sister's life, blah, blah, blah. And the man in black cuts him off real quick. And I'm just like, what? I thought this guy was the bad guy. But it turns out that outside of the park, he's not on vacation. He has like a real job and real values and he's a real person. All that aside though, we did get a lot of action with the man in black. He helped bust Hector out of prison and they talked to the girl with the snake tattoo. And she basically said that there's this gang of bad guys running around in the woods with Wyatt on his storyline and it seems like that's where the man in black has to go next to figure out where the next step of the maze is. I was also happy that Maeve got more face time in this episode. I really missed her in episode 3 and this one picks up with her in the bar with Clementine and she's getting some flashbacks to one of the times that they got murdered together. Now as we remember Maeve actually woke up in the laboratory while her stomach was being operated on and in there she saw some of the lab technicians wearing the whole uh, regalia that they have with the lights on. It looks kind of like an astronaut and it's very interesting that Maeve is remembering this and even though she might be framing it in her mind as a dream, she's been making a physical record of it because she's starting to realize that she doesn't remember everything that's going on in the past and she's been writing these pages with drawings of this astronaut laboratory worker type figure and storing them underneath the floorboards so she can access them later. Just completely as a side note, this reminded me of that Adam Sandler movie, 50 First Dates, where he makes the video and shows it to her and they fall in love every day. And at the conclusion of this episode, Hector's back in town, the whole gang's doing their shoot up routine, and in the safe room with Hector, he helps cut Maeve's stomach open, they retrieve the bullet that she thought she remembered, even though there's no physical scarring and no physical recollection of it. And it helps Maeve validate that she's not crazy, and all of this world that she thought was very real and very old time west doesn't matter at all. Things are getting really exciting in this series. Episode 4 gave us a lot of information, so let's talk a little bit about where I think the series is going. Turning our attention to Dr. Ford, he's continuing with his big renovations of the park, 
And as he emphasized in his conversation with the manager, this is not a retrospective storyline. This is something completely new. And it's fun to note that in that conversation, the manager said that her parents had taken her to Westworld as a child, that she had been to that restaurant in that exact seat. And interestingly enough, this is sort of a deja vu effect, sort of the same experience that the hosts are having. So maybe problematic memories are not only coming from the host, but they're coming from the guests too, because the park has been around for 30 years and it needs some fresh material. In that same scene though, things got kind of tense between the park manager and Dr. Ford when they're talking about the balance between money and guest experience and vision and his creativity. And Ford was really the aggressor in this conversation, which leads me to my big theory manifesto. I believe Dr. Ford murdered Arnold. Okay, now follow me here. In the conversation, Dr. Ford said that Arnold actually preferred the host. He says, talking about the people that guests couldn't understand that Westworld wasn't just a story and it wasn't just an experience, it was an entire actual world that they're making. The world belonged to Dr. Ford and to Arnold, and as he said, everyone else was just a guest in it. Now it may be coincidence, but I'm starting to see some parallels between this type of dialogue and Wyatt's backstory. When Teddy got prepped for the Wyatt story, he has all these new memories about how Wyatt uh, I believe it went to some sort of war and he came back and he had all these strange ideas that this land wasn't for the natives and it wasn't for the new settlers, it was his. So I believe we have the Wyatt story that was created by Dr. Ford that was based off of his real life experiences and interactions with Arnold. And this is starting to bring me full circle. In this episode, the man in black said, Westworld is all a game, it's all a facade, and it's all fake. But this maze has what he's really looking for. At the center of the maze, there is something real. A place where real violence happened and the place where Dr. Ford murdered Arnold. At the center of the maze is a place that has significance inside and outside the park. And as far as I can guess right now, maybe it has physical significance too, that it's an actual way in and out. And this is a way of real escape uh, for Dolores and for Lawrence and for Maeve and for any of the hosts that are being put on a trajectory to end up there. So while a little far-fetched, that's the vibe that I'm getting from this show so far. And I've heard many different opinions from other people, but episode four gave us a lot of material to work with and I'm very excited to see where the show's going. Tell me what you think. Did Ford murder Arnold? Leave a comment below and tell me what you think about that or any one of the threads that's going on in Westworld right now. If you enjoyed my review, hit that like button and go ahead and click subscribe. You'll get my Westworld reviews, you'll get notifications for my movie reviews that I do sometimes and miscellaneous videos that I post. As the series progresses, together we'll come to some sort of understanding about what's going on in Westworld and we'll get some closure on the story. But for now, that's all I got. So I really enjoyed episode four. I hope you did too. And uh, take care. I'll see y'all later. Bye y'all.